quite a distinguished position. I was nominated from the Department of Health where I work. Mm -hmm. uh, they nominate me, uh, I think, because uh, I think they trust me a lot. And I think uh, they thought that I need this chance, which really I got it. It certainly is very well deserved. Mm -hmm. Dr. Maryam Al-Matar, you're in the psychologist chair, and we have a caller. Hello, caller. Hello. And your name, please. Zubayda. Hi, Zubayda. What would you like to ask Dr. Maryam? Um, can I speak to her? Of course you can. She's listening right now. Hello, Zubayda. Hello, Dr. Doctora. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you for this accomplishment. Thank you very much. And uh, the show and your words have been a great inspiration for all. Thank so, you very much yes. for telling us that. It's very kind of you. We're all very proud of Dr. Mariam. Really, the way she talks and her expressions and everything, it's really great and really inspiring, especially her grandma's story, which uh, really tend, uh, made me think about my grandfather and his, because my grandfather was also like a well-known man and everything. So thinking on his footsteps, you know, you tend to just remember and ask yourself, where are you in the past? Thank you very much for your comments. Do you have a question for Dr. Maryam? Yes, sir. I just wanted to ask, what advice do you give for the new generation who are still lost yeah. in their uh, past, you know, still want to select, they don't know what to select for the future, for example? What advice do you give to them? Okay. 